एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर लेक्चर ऑफ सेफ टी वाई क्रैश कोर्स सो इन दिस वीडियो विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट कलर्स एंड ग्रेडियंट्स सो एज यू कैन सी ऑन माय स्क्रीन आई ऑलरेडी हैव अ रेक्टेंगल एडेड विद अ फ्रेम ऑफ 200 हंड्रेड एंड विथ एंड टू हंड्रेड हाइट एंड इन द राइट हैंड साइड यू कैन सी द रेक्टेंगल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट कलर्स एंड ग्रेडियंट्स सो हेयर आर द पॉइंट्स दैट वील गन डिस्कस द फर्स्ट वन इज यूजिंग द प्रोवाइडेड कलर्स बाई एपल second is using primary and secondary colors for light and dark mode then the rgb values creating color of color assets and then changing the opacity similarly for gradients we'll be talking about the three different type of gradients which are linear gradient angular gradient and radial gradients as well as we'll be talking about how we can create our own custom ones all right so let's start with the first point using the provided colors so as you can see on the right hand side we have a rectangle with a frame and by default the rectangle has a black color so let's just give it a foreground color and for using the provided colors by apple you can just do color dot and you will get all the options that are available in swift ui like black blue brown clear clear is transparent uh foreground gray green indigo so let's just choose indigo and you can see that the color is added all right so yeah this is how you can simply use the system provided color now let's discuss about the second point which is primary and secondary color let's say this rectangle is of black color all right so because the rectangle is of black color in light mode it will look fine because it has a white background that's why it will look fine but what if we change the color scheme to dark appearance you will see that the rectangle is not visible now because the background is also black as well as the rectangle so it won't be visible so for this there is an option provided by apple which is primary and secondary color so primary and secondary color actually adjust themselves based on the light and dark mode appearance so if i select primary <coughs> so if i selected primary you can see that the rectangle has changed to white color and uh, when i change the color scheme to light appearance then it will change to black color so primary color will actually adjust itself based on the light and dark mode appearance so it will change itself to black and white depending upon the appearances all right so that's about the primary color secondary color is also same it's just a little grayish so in the light mode this it will look like this and in the dark mode it will look like this so apple has provided primary and secondary so one you can use for title and the other one you can use for description so that's why apple has provided two primary and secondary colors you can even create your own colors that can adjust according to light and dark mode um, for this we'll be discussing it in the third point our uh, fourth point sorry it should be fourth let's just go through uh, using rgb values so right now we just pass the Uh, colors that were already provided what if like someone from your design team gave you some rgb values and asked you to implement that color so in that case we can do color dot init and here we have this option of red green and blue so here we can pass the values like 23 by 255 uh, i'm just putting random values i don't know what color it will give all right so you can pass the rgb values here and create your color so that's one will like if your designer team has given you some color you can just get the rgb value and use that in your project and there is one uh, rgb slider also available digit color picker i guess yeah there is one tool available in apple which is digital color meter so you can even use this tool to get the rgb value of any color like if i want the rgb value of this color i can just get it here which is 91 117 and 158 91 117 and 158 so yeah so you can see the color of content view here and this is same so you can use this tool digital color meter 
for this purpose and get your own custom color all right so now uh, that you have your colors so let's discuss about how we can create your own color asset that can change depending on the light and dark mode so for creating a color asset we'll move to this assets folder i already have an asset created which is example primary i'll show you how to create another one so you need to click on this plus icon and click on color set and create one okay secondary example secondary all right so once we created the color you can see there are two options any appearance and dark appearance so we can also select uh, in the right hand side we have option of appearances and here we can se select any light and dark so for light color for light mode we can select a color let's say we pick green sorry and for the dark mode we can select another color let's say we pick blue and any appearance it won't be used but let's say we selected the same a red color for it all right so we have a example secondary color so for light mode it will show green color for dark mode it will show this bluish color all right so let's go here and here we can directly use those assets by string passing the name of the asset which in our case is example secondary so you can see that in the light mode we have a green color and for the dark mode the color changes to blue so that's how you can create your own color assets that will adjust themselves based on the light and dark mode appearances so and you also have an option to change the opacity like you can uh, directly pass an opacity here the value should be between 0 to 1 if you pass 0 then the color will hide and if you pass 1 then the color will be visible completely and you can pass any value between 0 to 1 to make it a little transparent or just 50% visible so yeah, you can play with your, these opacity values and get the desired results all right so that's it about the colors i think we have covered it all if you have any confusion then you can just comment and ask let's now move to gradients so we will remove this foreground color from here and also change this appearance to light all right now if we talk about gradients then we have three options available which is linear gradient angular gradient and radial gradients so let's see how we can use linear gradient so just like we were using foreground color for using a gradient we will have to add a background to the rectangle and inside this background we can pass the linear gradient that we want to use you will see there are quite a few options available we will select the colors one so in colors you can pass the colors that you want let's say i want a red green a uh, gradient with two colors and the starting point will be the um, starting point of the gradient so for this we will select leading and the end point we will select as trailing there are quite a few options available you can see bottom bottom leading bottom trailing so there are many options for now we will be selecting trailing all right so we have added the background but we can't see it in the rectangle because uh, this is a background and the rectangle has a foreground color of uh, black so for this to work we will have to make the foreground color to clear so that we can clearly see the background okay so now that we have made the foreground clear uh, foreground color as clear our background is completely visible so you can see that the starting point is leading uh, then our first color red is shown then at the trailing we have the green color you can add multiple colors like not just red green you can even add a blue color uh indigo so we have four colors now 
and the starting point is leading and trail uh, and point is trailing to make it diagonal we can also say let's just keep it trailing let's make the starting point as top so you can see that the gradient has uh, converted to diagonal gradient so that's how we can use linear gradients let's now talk about angular gradients let's just copy paste this and instead of linear gradient we'll be using angular gradient now angular gradient expects different values so in angular gradients we need to provide the center point not the starting and lead or uh, end point so for the colors we will just use the same values and for the center point we will just keep the center as the center all right so you can see that uh, we have got a nice gradient and the center point is center and we have added these four colors you can also give start angle and end angle to it and you can pass degrees let's pass 90 and then end angle here also you can pass degrees let's pass 360 So yeah, that's how our angular gradient looks. You can play with the values to make it more, uh, make it much better. Yeah, so that's how we can pass colors and choose the center point of the gradient, and this is how our angular gradient is appearing. So now let's just talk about the third one, which is radial gradient. So let's just change the background. and for colors we'll be using the same colors for the center point we'll select center starting point will give some random value let's say 10 and and radius as 130 so this is how our radial gradient looks so for the radial gradient we are just passing the color and the center point and the start and end radius you can play with with these values and uh, Create your own gradient. So these are how we can use linear, angular, and radial gradients. For if you have some uh, custom, if you want to customize it more, you can create your own custom gradients. Let's explore that too. So instead of creating this radial gradient, let's create a linear gradient. and add a stop to it so for a stop so we'll select gradient dot stops and here we'll pass the stops color like let's say red and location as 0 third one will pass color dot green and the location is 0.5 and the third one will do blue location as 1 start point will be leading and the end point will be trailing cannot convert value of type gradient to expected argument type gradient dot stop okay so here instead of stops we will select gradient Uh, so you can see that we have a uh, custom gradient added at the bottom and here we can also change the values like i can make the red 0 and the green one as 0.1 so as you can see we have customized it to red take only a little space then green take only 10% of the space and the blue can take the available 90% of the space so this is how you can create your own custom gradients all right so i think you have understood the concepts the colors how we can use them how we can add a color asset
how can we can how we can use the rgb values and we can change the opacity using the primary and secondary colors for the dark and light mode appearances and then the gradients the linear angular radial and creating your own custom gradients so that's all the topics that we covered in this lecture so that's it for this lecture i'll see you guys in next video thank you